This is Tony Germignani. I'm going to be making a pizza in my uni oven today. And this is one of my favorite pizzas. It's a squash blossom pizza with fresh burrata, prosciutto di parma, and I'm using a Caputo Double Zero Blue blended with a Tipo One. Uh, this is an awesome pizza. So when you see squash blossoms like this, you know, I pipe them with uh, some from ricotta. So when you, you look at these squash blossoms, which I'm lucky that I get them all year round, I'll go inside and kind of make sure it's all clean in there and take out this little piece right here, discard that. And then what I do is I go right into the flower. I'll pipe some ricotta right in. You can see that right there. And then take a little bit of that stem off. And then I have these already done already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some flour and a little bit of semolina. Stretch this out right over this piece of marble. Add some 100% whole milk mozzarella. Take these squash blossoms and lay them right over the top. Push this aside, grab my pizza, restretch it out. So I'm looking at my uni and it's about that time. <laughs> I'm looking at my uni and uh, it's pretty hot. It's been preheated for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go inside, give it a couple shakes, fix it a little bit, and then we're off. This should take about 60 to 80 seconds, give or take. We're lucky enough for the festival, this virtual festival that we have some great products, of course, Caputo, Chow uh, are two of my favorites. Um, these next pizza I'm gonna make is some fresh Chow tomatoes. I'm gonna hand crush over a pizza with cup and char, Rosa Grande that are thick. But I'm looking at my pizza now, and I'm gonna grab it. Looking at that char, give it a churn, go back in its spot. We are almost done. Grab it, give it a little turn. One more little turn and we're almost done. Maybe a little longer. Three more seconds. One, two, three. Land it right here. So that pizza is pretty nice and charred. When I look at this pizza, it's almost finished. We'll add a little bit of prosciutto over the top. So we have some shaved Parmigiano. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil over the top, and then that fresh burrata. We're gonna break off right over the top. Because what's nice about burrata is you don't always have to cook it. People think that you have to cook burrata, and you don't. With that right over the top, and a little bit of fresh, a little sea salt. This is one of my favorite pizzas. Check that out. I hope you support all the great pizzaiolos across the US for the New York Virtual Pizza Festival. Thank you.